There are two things keeping you in that chair right now. One is obviously your dashing host and his fancy big boy suit. The other is gravity. Well, one thing you didn't know gravity could do is make you go, ooh, and ah. Don't believe me? You will in a minute. Here's Adam Yamaguchi. When we learn about the natural physical forces of our world, gravity, velocity, and resistance, it's usually from a teacher in a classroom, Google, or the old school way, reading about it in a book. Well, now there's another option. I drove a windy mountain road to Silo, North Carolina to meet Jeff Goodman, creator of the Physics Playground, an innovative space to teach math, science, even music, just by having fun in the great outdoors. Students travel from all over and hike up Jeff's driveway to see his handmade physics lab. All right, so let me show you all this pendulum wave. It's made of 16 bowling balls. Yeah, which one's gonna go faster, you think? The shorter. shorter. Okay, let's see. Let's see, so this is the shorter one. It goes bump, 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 bump. Let's try the, the longer one. Bump. It's much slower, much slower right? Yes. The pendulum wave is designed to show students the unique patterns that form when 16 bowling balls are released at the same time. Because each bowling ball is suspended from a different length of wire, they each swing at different speeds. As they move in and out of sync, the swinging balls create a sequence of wave patterns. Oh, here's my favorite part. With every different wave that's created, these students not only see the equations on display, they could hear them too. You know what you just heard? You just heard math talking to you. Up next is an apparatus called Galileo's parabola, named after the famous 17th century astronomer and physicist. So folks, I have this 16 pound bowling ball and I'm gonna send it down this ramp and hopefully it's gonna pass through these hoops and into the hole down there at the bottom. When the ball is dropped from the top of the ramp, oh. called the curve of fastest descent, it reaches maximum oh. velocity just before it flies off the end. Because gravity pulls down on the ball as it travels in air, it doesn't fall in a straight line, but in a parabolic curve. And since Jeff's physics playground is outdoors, weather conditions become variable. He has to make adjustments to the wooden hoops before he successfully sails the ball through without hitting a single frame. And finally, Jeff led us to what he calls a gravity-powered xylophone. So come on up, you guys. We're, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna grab some of these balls. I'm gonna add a little bit of potential energy to them, right? We'll roll a ball from the top, a little metal ball. And as it hits these tubes, it will create different notes. The notes are dependent on the length of the pipe. <laughs> the kids ran up and down the hill, dropping balls, changing pipes, asking That's questions, and trying to land the balls into a walk at the end of the track. What's some of the science that you can see in action here? Pure physics. When you bring the ball up, it gives it potential energy, but when it's released, it gives it kinetic energy. Jeff thinks of himself as an enthusiasm engineer who believes sharing the wonder of science through play is how you make it stick in your brain. And it's not just cool, it's not just gee whiz. I mean, gee whiz is great too, but gee whiz with friends mm -hmm. and music, yeah. multicolored bowling balls is even better. <laughs>